guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be all about artistry going to be using some of the items from the new collection starting things off with the exact fit primer which you guys already know that i love this primer it is so good at just calming down the redness that i have on my face and we're just going to blend that out with the artistry foundation brush next i am just combing out my crazy eyebrows i can't go anywhere to get them done right now quarantine um, but i'm just gonna go in with the power brow pen from the new tokyo collection which i'm not too crazy about i feel like i really need to be pressing in the pen onto my brows to get some product and it feels like it's very drying and it just i i'm not crazy about this so i then do go ahead and just fill in the rest using the artistry three and one brow shaper um but i really didn't like the brow pen all that much but yeah i'm just going in with this brush from morphe and jeffree star just filling them in and then we're going in with the correct and perfect face compact i'm going to be going in with that purple shade just to brighten up some of those places on my face that they look a little bit dull um especially around there on my eyes because it does get a little bit dark and then i'm just going to apply the green shade onto those places that i still have some redness that is peeking through and then again i'm just applying all of this with the artistry concealer brush and then blending out with the artistry foundation brush then we're just blending that out and then applying the artistry youth extend foundation i use the shade bisque which is l1 n1 and it's such a great foundation it leaves you with a pretty dewy finish and it's super full coverage i don't even apply concealer um, when i use this foundation because it's so full coverage just setting everything with the artistry perfecting loose powder i do only set um, my t-zone and around my eyes and then we're just going to be going into this uh what is this palette called i don't know what this is called but um i do like this palette they did launch two palettes the other one i believe it's kabuki pop i'm not too crazy about that one but i did really like this one the shades are very easy to blend out they're not that pigmented but it's still a fairly good palette for like an everyday use so i did just do a very like soft glam sort of look and it gave me urban decay naked palette vibes i this is seriously the same look that i get when i use my naked palette applying the artistry length and definition mascara i don't know why my wand is bent but this is one of my favorite mascaras and then i'm just gonna go ahead and just slightly bronze up contour my cheekbones everywhere on my face because i'm so fat and so round but i'm um, using that highlighter slash contour brush from artistry and then just blending everything out with the artistry powder brush then just applying this blush which is just so cute um the only thing is that i do suggest for you to go in with a very light hand because it is easy to kind of get carried away and it is a little bit hard to blend out but i made it work and then just highlighting with the artistry illuminating light up compact i just went in with the gold shade and applied it with the morphe and jeffree star brush this is my favorite highlighter of life i love it i love it so much i have three
then just applying the third lip shade from the Kabuki Glam palette. Mm, gives you like a nice pretty little tint. And then just setting everything with my Artistry Studio makeup setting spray. And then I'm going to put on some of this mist, which it smells amazing. If you get anything, get this, please. And then that is it for the whole look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Goodbye. <laughs>